For this video, we are going to take a look at a grouped frequency table. So this is a situation when you have to find the average of a very, very, very large set of data. And also, this very large set of data has a frequency range, which means that we have six people between 50 to 59, 12 people between 60 to 69, 37 people between 70 to 79, 121 people from 80 to 89, and 274 people with 90 to 100 as their ending grade percentage of um, uh, statistics class. So I've taken this data, and even though this isn't all 450 data points, this is going to be pretty close to the actual answer as if we had basically added up all 450 and done the work. So let's get started. First off, we have our data in this organized table. And what we are going to need to do is we're going to need to find the total. Now, I did do some calculations before the video started. And you can go 6 plus 12 plus 37 plus 121 plus 274. And this gives you a total. Our sample size of our statistics students are 450. Now. Since I actually don't have the exact data points, so I don't have the six data points between 50 to 59. I don't know if they're all six of them are 50s or all of them are 59s or where they actually are. We're going to find the M, which is the symbol for the midpoint of this data range. So what we do is we take our low 50 and our high number, 59, and we are going to divide that by 2. So I can kind of put that down here. The step one is to find the midpoint of each interval. So again, take your low value of your class width to the very high data point of that class width and divide it by 2. And if I do that, if I go 50 plus 59, hit enter, then I divide by 2, I get 54.5. There's my midpoint. Then what I'm going to do is that for each of these values. So 60 plus 69, enter, divided by 2, is 64.5. If I repeat this next, 70 to 79 is going to give me 74.5. And this 80 to 89 gives me 84.5. But what you have to be careful here is this is 90 to 100, which is not 84.5. It is 95. So that changes things just a little bit in this problem. You'll notice that maybe you kind of thought that I was just going to move up by 10 each time. But since this last grade range, has 11 numbers instead of 10, the midpoint is 95. There are four, or there's five numbers to the left and five numbers to the right. Now that you found the midpoint of each of your classes, we will go to the next step, which is step two. Multiply the frequency by the midpoints. Now let me scroll back up here again. Let's use some symbolic notation. The frequency is going to be denoted by the letter F. So here, I'm going to have a letter F. Now this last column is going to be taking that frequency and multiplying it by the midpoint. Since we don't know exactly where these six grades are between 50 to 59, we will assume that all six of these grades are roughly 54.5. So we're going to go six times 54.5. And that adds up to 327. Then we will take our 12 grades in the 60s range and multiply that by 64.5. And that gives a total of 774. These numbers are going to get big because I have 37 students who got anywhere in the C range, 
So we're going to assume that 74.5, since we don't actually know those 37 data points, and this gives me 2,756.5. We have 121 B students, so assume that a B is 84.5, and that will then give me 10,224.5. The majority of the students earned A's, 274. We multiply that by 95, and we get an answer of 26,030. So that means we have a very, very, very large amount of data add up. But since we have a table like this, we can just simply compute these numbers times these numbers to get these numbers. Now let's look at step three. Step three is to find the sums of the midpoints. So what we are going to do is take everything in this last table, this last column, and find the sums of all of those midpoints multiplied by the frequency. So if I do this addition, 327 plus all of these other four big numbers, the sum is going to be 4,112. And that gets me to my final step. Once I am given that total, I'm going to divide that sum by the frequency, which is my sample size n. So to kind of review what we did in step three, you took your 6 times 54.5, you added your 12 times 64.5, plus your 37 times 74.5 plus your 121, 84.5 and then your 274 which is multiplied by 95 and that gave you a total of 40,112. Now you take that sum and divide it by your sample size and this gives you an approximate decimal of 89 point and let me just double check my work here 1 3 so since it was 1 3 we can round it to one decimal 89.1 percent so the average grade in the class was a B plus so this is the process if you are given a frequency table and not the specific data this is how you can find the average pretty easily with a little organization.